Welcome to LSU Football 2021 Pro Day presented by Community Coffee. Emily Dixon here with Carrie Vincent. Now, Carrie, we're going to start with the biggest event of the day, obviously. The 40-yard dash is a big event for a lot of prospects. I'm sure you had a number circled, but your first run's a 4-3-8, and then you get a 4-3-3 on your second run, the fastest of the day. What's the feeling now that you've gotten everything out of the way? Um, it's definitely a relief, you know. Um, unfortunately, I didn't you know, have the opportunity to play this year, uh, opting out, but uh, to be able to come back and compete with these guys, run a 40, the highlight of my day being the fastest 40, um, it was definitely fun. I enjoyed it. You know. Hope, hope, I'm, I'm hoping that that set me up for, for the next level. I think it did. I, I think that you're pretty good with that one. But you played a lot of football at LSU. You're a national, you won a national championship. Like you just said, you spent the last year training for the draft. So what areas do you feel like you grew your game that you really wanted to show all of the NFL personnel today? Um, it's obvious. I mean, if you're playing in the SEC, especially playing here at LSU, it's obvious that you have all the physical attributes. So I took away from that, and I really wanted to work on my mental, my inner self. And, and uh, I feel like the mental aspect is, is just as big as the physical aspect. So I've just been working on my thinking process, my meditation, and things like that to better myself. Your teammates on the track team right now are ranked number one in the country. And while you were here at LSU, you ran track and played football. So how did doing both of those help you prepare for this next level going into the draft? Um, it, it kept me in shape first off. Uh, so I never, I mean, none of us do, but I definitely never had any time off. As soon as the season was over, I was right in the track season. And um, like I said, you, on both sides, I'm with the best of the best. Right now, those guys are number one in the country. Um, we got guys with world lead times. Um, we got the two-time uh, back-to-back -to -back high jump and long jump winners. It's just being surrounded by athletes and me being a competitor, it just makes you want to push. And uh, those guys push me on both ends, and I, they are a big part of the reason why I'm able to do the things that I did today. Especially after taking the year off from football, and we had talked about before how this was the first year in forever that you haven't played football, but being able to come back here today after so long, how did it feel just being around your former teammates and LSU staff and personnel and kind of coming back home? It's, it's definitely, it's simply that, coming back home. You know, everybody embraces you with open arms and smiles. I'm um, getting to hug everybody. You know, I've, I haven't been here in a few months, so from the, the training staff to the, the weight room staff, you guys in the front office, it's, 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 it's love always, and uh, I always love coming back home to LSU. Okay, what's next for Kerry Vincent as you line up meetings with some more NFL teams and everything in the draft in April? We just hope and pray that uh, I'm able to stay healthy in this downtime that we have. But we're less than a month away from the draft. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just pray that all my guys here participate uh, and the LSU family uh, is able to make their dream come true and playing at the next level. Thanks a lot, Kerry. Always great to have you back here in Baton Rouge. And congratulations on a great day. Thank you so much.